Hello, Lilo. Last time, we went to Bandai Nats in Los Angeles, where players compete to be the number one player in North America. And year round, different stores hold tournaments to decide the number one player in the region. This week, I went to the One Piece Offline Regionals in Oviedo, Florida, hosted by Versus Gaming. But how? does it work? So like any TCG tournament, you sign up and register your deck. Each player gets participation pack. This regional had 9 rounds and depending on how well you place, you win prizes that are worth a lot of berries. Originally, I didn't plan to go, but just like Kentaro and Golden Boy, not only were my friends men of culture, but they wouldn't take no for an answer. After sleeping for only 2 hours, I booked a last minute flight and arrived at the Sunshine State aka Chili's known for their palm trees and questionable infrastructure. The tourney was held at the Oviedo Mall, so we stayed at the Marriott 20 minutes away, which had free continental breakfast. Mm, baked to perfection. And the hotel was very welcoming. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's shakes. It's shakes. Like. How are you? On entry, you get two participation packs, two event packs, and a Gear 5 Dawn card. Being just a spectator, I was pretty jealous, especially of Renato's regional stamp brand new. He's not bald. I also realized I forgot my deck at home, so no main event for me, which I'm completely fine with, especially because I don't think I stood a chance. So all the good players are here today for this region. Jonas? Oh, Jonas is here today. Cody Angeloff. And then some of the regional toppers are all here today for the small regionals. Yeah. So, yeah, so everyone's sweating. Yeah, why is everyone here? Why is everyone here? You <laughs> said we had a chance. They played last week. What are they doing here? <laughs> What's your placement do you think you'll make? Depends on how locked in we are today. Renata, how locked in are you? Man, I'm really sleepy. Oh my so, gosh. I wonder why. Huh? Could be any reason. Okay, that was last night. Top 64? For prize card, top 128 starts getting them. And usually it's more, but since there's not that many players, we have to top higher now in oh. order to get prize cards. X4? And no, no ha you have to be X2. But I had faith in everyone, especially Fooly, because he's sponsored. Sponsored, sponsored players. Sponsored by what? <laughs> what do you sponsor? Ooh. You give me a finger. With the youth still in them, we walked our way to the venue. The event was held inside an abandoned department store, which I could immediately tell which store. It smells like a Sears. It smells like a Sears. It smells, it smells like, like a Sears. Sears. <laughs> it's been On the left side were three vendors that sold mostly single cards and card sleeves. It's funny, yeah, it's which satisfied my itch for Nats not having vendors. And immediately I realized I was the wrong target demographic. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass it it's like Stockton. Man, being a One Piece player makes me realize not only do I suck at the game, but I'm also poor. But some things are worth fighting for, like these Dawn cards. Originally, I was searching for these Dawn cards at Nats, so it was super awesome to finally start the search for all 10. Around 10 a.m., the pairing started, and you go to your assigned table in the center of the room. There was a featured match area, which was where a match would be broadcasted on the Versus Gaming Twitch channel, hosted by Diego, Ryan, and Franklin. Match 1 was a rocky start, with Fuli winning and Renato and OT's first loss. I had to give them a pep talk to lock. In. But your crocs are on attack mode. They're on defense, baby. Oh, that's defense. Attack is like sports mode, no? That was the issue. That was the issue. That was the issue. Darn it. As the rest of the match went, I got to relax at the Versus Gaming Store. It was super quiet. I was the only one with two sugar-free Red Bulls in my hand and the AC blasting. I was so relaxed watching the stream. What the? Interesting decor choices. Heading back, Renato was the only one locked in, with Fuli and OT misplaying. It's kind of my dance. You miscounted? Welcome to the club. <laughs> it was not looking good for the ATL game. No, three more years and then two cruise on. Oh, ouch. It was bad. There was not much else to film. If anything, unlike Nats, they chose a venue that was too big. Everybody broke for lunch and I got to play a fun exhibition match with Diego. I was able to borrow Renato's Katakuri deck. Disclaimer, I am dog water. Like, I even forgot to put down my life cards. But I was super happy with my base trigger. 
<laughs> yeah, boy. Then I oopsied and forgot I could swing with Sanji. <laughs> I still had so much fun, and Diego is super kind to show me how I should have swung. Thank you, Versus Gaming and Bat, for broadcasting my L in 4K. And thank you, Orange Samurai, for the good vibes. Please check out their channels. But back to the main event. After the third match, things started popping. Tomorrow into base, bro. That oh my god. With some more than others. I just wanna drop! Let me drop! <laughs> Besides the main event, there were also side events, which immediately filled up with everyone that dropped after being X3. You could also watch the feature matches on the projectors inside. Is that 10 Zorodon? This man has a thousand dollars on that board. On the fourth round, Renato got the dub, and Fuli got the free dub. Are you proud of yourself? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> You have now control. He did not. <laughs> the rest of the matches had many up. I know he had the sun drop in hand. All I had was rush. So I was like, I have to gamble. And I won the gamble. You didn't have like two last triggers, anything. You're on your toes, on your toes. It's because you're sponsored. And downs, with everyone ending in X3. But like every event, we learn a little bit of something each time. Play yellow. Play yellow. Play yellow, guys. What did we learn? What did we learn? Play some. I've always known to play. Play yellow. some variation of yellow. <laughs> always. <laughs> if you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below, free giveaway. You tell me what card you want. Is Don't it say a, that. No. Is it yeah. Don't For say in that. in a Sakazuki deck, that's not a manga sock. Manga Ace. Manga Ace. In a Sakazuki deck. <laughs> That is not a manga sub. Wait, what about the old Tar Sabo? Old Tar Sabo? Hey man, it's a giveaway. How about that it's a giveaway? How about that championship Sabo? Oh, championship Sabo? It's a giveaway. <laughs> oh my god, it's so Then, right at the end, Renato realizes his matches says he's X4 instead of X3. We found out one of Renato's previous matches was marked as a loss instead of a 1. I won it. I didn't say I was the dude marked it. I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> the other dude marked it, which means that the other guy gets penalized, but you don't get anything. We tried to dispute it, but unfortunately, nothing could be done because so many matches had already happened. <laughs> that guy literally gets away with it for free. Oh, oh. No. Basically, Renato was robbed from being in top 64. I actually would have gotten 64. You would have gone 64? Wait, who else? Just me? Just me? Yeah. I don't give a f he didn't know uh, But you know what? It's it not always man. about the score. Oh, it is about that kid that he lost. $600 mistake right there. Oh. It's okay. Oh, no. Let me buy some shit from here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, man. It's bad. I can't believe it. Oh. oh. It's true, it's not about the money, it's about the ethics. And that guy still got away with it. So what do we do when the world is ending? We cope. One Piece is live! <laughs> Say that one more time. One Piece is live! <laughs> I 65th, I bubbled out! One Piece is live! <laughs> good, 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 good boy, good boy. <laughs> and to you guys, if you ever did not top your tourneys, do not fear. Just remember, you can get things done. <laughs> And before we left, I signed up for the second round of side events. Easiest match I've ever had. However, I was running on nothing but two hours of sleep, two sugar-free Red Bulls, and a dream. I was so hungry I could eat at Arby's. So I played one for fun and withdrew. <laughs> of course, I had to see my pool game. What's the hit? What's the hit? It's a Zoro, it's a Yamato. Okay, I like Yamato. It's nothing else. Everything else and is nothing garbage. Else. Everything, Everything else is garbage? garbage? All right. Knowing my pull rate, luck, man, knowing my pull rate. I don't think you're gonna get it. Well, dang, you can start off like that. Oh, I thought you were. Oh, I know. He did so good. And it's so good. Muni was a baddie. She was a baddie. She's 15. She's 15? Oh, okay, that's not bad. She's 100% $10, but okay. Oh, $10 then.
still dog water. And with loot in our hands, we ate some really dry Texas barbecue. Then we stopped by Target to find One Piece cards. Did we find any? Oh, there's so much. There's so eat. much. We need a basket. We need a basket. <laughs> no, that's oh not, my gosh, there's so many. N NBA. No, that's the wrong one, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Yu Gi Oh! Come oh, on, man. man. I can't read. <laughs> it's gotta be here. I think, I think it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> that was like really good. <laughs> Absolutely not. All we found in the target was shame. You should buy it for him. He doesn't deserve it. He didn't deserve it. He didn't it. do his chores. What did, what did Renata do? He didn't do his chores. He didn't top. No excellent scores. Punishing we each only other. reward excellence, <laughs> and what he gave me was mediocrity. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Renata! Overall, the regionals was a very organized event, way more organized than Nats. Actually, it was very it was well actually done. Really, <laughs> yeah. it was unbelievable. I like well it done. a lot. It was really well yeah, organized. They did it really yeah. good. They started out on time. They didn't deal with Every anybody's. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Every round on yeah. time, I'm yeah. impressed. They literally like ended the round, started the 15 minute clock. End of round procedures, an hour for next food? round. I love it. And, and an hour, hour for food. food. Yeah. yeah, that was that really was good. Like, I was like, you guys can eat. That's so good. Yeah. 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 An hour was oh. wild. And although some of the players had better morales than others, the event was still super fun. And I'd say my friends came out on top. Don top, that is. Don, 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 don. Spent the rest of the second day enjoying civilization. We got to walk around Disney Springs and enjoy the vi Oh, hello, trading cards. It's Lorcana. We can't run away from any trading cards. They follow us. This is in one piece. <laughs> and on the way back, we stopped by and got food. It's Boosie. It's, it's so Boosie. Which was my first time there. Oh. We've got Scratchman a Poo. Scratchman a Poo, again, in my opinion, is also a four of tier one deck. TCG is a lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you guys can be up to date on my latest uploads. Speaking of, let me know in the comments what event I should go to next. My name is Koi, and I'll see you in Wano. And remember, check, check your, your <laughs> check your results. Don't trust your opponent.